We're going bike packing. Will we crush four days on the Gulf Islands or will it crush us? We made a big mistake. We got 20 minutes till the boat leaves. It's raining. Yes, sir, it is. Come along and join us on another bike packing adventure. It takes a true salt-to-the-earth type human to even think to venture out here. However, each year a brave few mates pack up their bikes and head out into the unknown. What happens next? Arr, I don't know. This tale is not about those mates. It's about these mates. They'll weigh anchor with their bikes and gear and sail the seven seas for a bike packing extravaganza. So batten down the hatches and hang on tight because dead men tell no tales. Arr! All right, let's just make it off this ferry, okay? You think we're gonna get four in here? No way. Come on in, Ollie. Just play here. gonna fit? No way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah, good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude, there's plenty room. Come on. Oh! My spleen! Cassie. Oh no, oh, someone's <laughs> water bottle's leaking. Oh, oh no. Cassie bottle. <laughs> Is it? Oh god. 57. 56. 57. 57. I'm gonna say 57. 25.8. Kaz has five pounds of Crocs on his bike, so what are we saying? 50. 50. Oh, 47.2. That's pretty good. 24. 24.2. Not bad. Whoa, look at that. 2.6? <laughs> what? What the hell? Yeah! <laughs> Did you bring anything? <laughs> 32. Okay, that's, that's heavy. 49.8. I brought like 10 pounds of candy. <laughs> 18. 18. Oh my god, you guys are gonna be way ahead of me. So, as you can tell, we're only bringing the essentials. You see, the name of the game with this whole bike packing thing is packing light. Everything you bring, you gotta carry on your bike or your back. So we're headed to our local MEC to pick up a few new items for the trip. Now, if you've seen our videos before, you probably know that we pack pretty heavy. And if we were left to our own devices, we would have taken one of everything. Well, a few of everything. But luckily, the knowledgeable staff at MEC was there to help us whittle down our pack list to only the bare essentials. Every item has its purpose, and not one extra unnecessary gram will be carried by anyone. And with that, we've put together our perfect bikepacking setups. All right, one boat down, one to go. We're currently on the Queen of Skeena. This one's gonna take us to Salt Spring Island. It's about a half hour. You get to ride right on the ferry, which is awesome. And there's a ton of other kids riding bikes on the ferry, which is so cool to see. Look at all those bikes. Three, two, one. First hill of the day. Wow, just right into it, huh? The first stop is Salt Spring Island by the way of Victoria. We've planned an overzealous route that will have us circumnavigating part of the island before landing at Ruckle Park for the night. The road ahead is long and uncertain, but it feels great to warm up with the first few pedal strokes. Oh, big climb, boys. That's so good. Wow. <laughs> I've never been on a road bike. Like. We're off the pavement and we've hit our first gravel patch. Oh, We're doing it, doing the gravel thing. Kaz here is practicing his upwards gravel starts. Gravel. There you go. That's hard. Switchback number one. Oh, it's so gravelly. Holy, looks straight up. Holy, just goes up and up and up. Who made this route? 400 meters climbing so far. And so we marched up and up and up. Slowly, we made our way through the southwestern part of the island, a valiant effort that was rewarded by a heavy hand of snacks. Oh, 
crack into my gummy worms. I've got all the food groups here if you want. Oh, snap. Gummy worms, fruit, nuts. <laughs> ah! It's so loose. Oh my God. What goes up must come down. We got our blood pumping with our first high speed gravel descent. That was a good shit. <laughs> you should cool my brakes down. Yeah, I feel like my brakes are on fire. Oh, I smell it. Oh, that's warm. <laughs> Toasty man, who brought the eggs? Yeah, who, who needs a stove? Oh yeah, look at mine. Mine's actually like changed filler. Oh man, it's nice on the hands up. All right, we are in Musgrave Landing. So we're going straight up the hill? It seems, are, aren't we like, uh, are we like a quarter of the way to our, where we need to go today? Yeah, we're well, less than quarter. But less no. than quarter, okay. 2.45 p.m. Is this the way? Yeah. Well, this is a weird route. We made a big mistake. We didn't make a mistake. The maps did. Google Maps lied to us. A little trail update. 4.53 p.m. Just hiking. More like bike whacking. Follow the wire. That'll go to a road. Now this is bike packing. It wouldn't be an adventure if you didn't get lost. And we're officially lost. Cats. Chamois report. Ten is good. Ten's good. Comfort wise, it's about nine out of ten. Nice. But um, it's moist. And it's mostly like the sweat from my head just running all the way down my body and accumulating. Oh god. Well, I think we're gonna put chamois too, because it looks like we can ride this. Ooh. All right. It looks like we're back on some sort of semblance of a road. Which is nice because we've been. Honestly, walking a lot more than biking. Oh, it's kind of gnarly. Okay. Ah! Oh, she's rugged. This isn't what I said on trail forks. Super technical. Oh, steep. Oh! You okay? Oh. You okay, Kaz? Yeah. Oh, that's not ideal. How do we even quit yet? You good? He's right in the slop, too. Okay. Where's the rest of the house? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's okay, ladies and gentlemen. Kazbah, the man himself. We made it to the road! We're out, freedom. And it's 6.46 p.m. And we have 14 kilometers to get to our campsite. Let's go. Once we hit the pavement, we were flying. Even loaded up, these bikes are quick. So in no time, we were at our first campsite, Ruckel Provincial Park. Rock on, farm. Rock on. Okay, time to unpack, figure out what is what. Dude, how do you set up a hammock? This is bag number one. So we got this hex fly, that's piece one. And then we have this thing, it's the bug net. And then we have this thing, which is the hammock itself. And then the hammock straps. So now we gotta figure out how all four of these go together. You know what you're doing? Uh, I got a crash course from Matt. Uh, he just said, put the straps on, put the bug net on, feed the tarp, feed the hammock through, and that's it. So fresh, it's stuck together. Camping with a hammock is awesome. It packs down small, it's lightweight, and it's easy to set up. Plus, it's fun as heck. It can take a little practice getting used to, but once you have your process dialed, trust me, you'll be sleeping like a baby. Oh. There you go. After some trial and error with the hammocks, we settled into camp, hung up our chamois to dry, and cooked some well-earned freeze-dried dinner. Uh, 
uh, grilled chicken with spinach alfredo pasta. How many calories is that? 680, which uh, I need according to uh, the Garmin. It said I burnt uh, 4,000 calories. It also said recovery 41 hours, so that's not bad. Mine said four days. You said four days of recovery? Yeah. We were exhausted. I don't remember what I ate that night, but I'm sure it blew my mind. Back in the saddle. Oh man, the taint's not happy. Oh yeah, dude. What? <laughs> oh my God. All right, we're leaving Morocco Provincial Park in the search of the town Ganges. Taint report. Taint is sore, very sore. Could be more sore, but it's more sore than yesterday, that's for sure. Oh, <laughs> it's speed humps. A civilization guy. Ooh, entering Long Harbor. Guys, I think we made it. We made our next ferry with minutes to spare. It ain't easy planning around these ferries, but they ran often enough that if we missed one, there was always another to come get us. Our next stop was Main Island, located just east of Salt Spring. This was all of our first times here, and we knew next to nothing about it other than it was smaller, and our campsite was only five minutes away from the ferry. We just arrived at our second campsite, Main Island Camping. It's beautiful. We're the only ones here. It's sunny. We're gonna drop the bags and go for a little explore rip on the bike. This is all the non-essentials for having fun and just enjoying the ride on your bike. It's a lot of stuff. Looking lighter. Whoa, way lighter. <laughs> nice. Way lighter. It was nice to drop the bags and just go for a ride. The roads were great and the scenery was beautiful. It doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> another day, another oceanfront camp spot. Try as he might, Ollie wasn't having any luck with the fish. But at least the view was nice. Our bikes were dialed and our gear was dialed. Maybe we were finally getting a hang of this bike packing thing. leaving our campsite, we decided to take advantage of some of the local attractions. There's nothing like motion sickness before a huge bike ride. <laughs> Welcome to day three. We just cleaned up our campsite. Now we're gonna ride some trails and explore Main Island. Should we get off this swing and start riding some bikes? Let's go! Ha <laughs> ha 
Everyone's good? Okay, you're off, man. This was the first time of the trip riding our bikes on proper single track. They may not be the mountain bikes we're used to, but they still shred. Oh my God, shred. to the brewery. a quick brewery pit stop and now we're on the way to the ferry. Can you pick my bike up? While our time on Maine Island was short, we wanted to make it to our next campsite on Pender Island before dark. And unfortunately for us, the weather took a turn for the worse. Weather report, it's raining. Yes sir it is. What a nice welcome to our last island. Tropical. And a steep hill. Oh. This seems to be the case always, they welcome us with a steep hill. What's the grade on this bad boy? Check it in from earlier. It's now very rainy. <laughs> now I'm so. Yes, Matt. The final hill. Probably. <laughs> Shingle Bay. The weather looked bleak, but our spirits were still high. We arrived at our next campsite, Shingle Bay. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's a bumpy. Is this the crib? Well, 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 well. <laughs> All right, we've decided on our spot, and now we got to do the calculations and trigonometry to figure out how to put two double deckers up between these trees. We were fortunate to have two days of beautiful weather to get familiar with our gear. When it came to setting up our gear in the wet, we were well versed in the way of the double decker. And in no time, with a little bit of teamwork, we had set up yet another shelter with an ocean view. It was a satisfying feeling to come prepared for a comfortable night in crummy weather. Rain or shine, we were here for a good time. Room number one, uh, we got our beds here. This is Chasm, Chasm is on top, I'm on the bottom. Just finish out the those up, pretty good. You can see our living room, featuring Ollie Jones. And uh, we've got a nice sectional couch laid out. Um, it's got cup holders and a uh, helmet hangers and yeah. It's pretty, pretty versatile. And then if you look over there, we have the ensuite, which is uh, Matt and Ollie's room. And uh, it's uh, doubling as a little bit of a clothesline over there. And uh, I think it's gonna pair nicely with uh, what we have going on here. So welcome to our crib. The rain was relentless, but the locals didn't seem to mind. And if they were going to tough it out, so will we, damn it. Three days later, and we felt great. But you think by now we'd have learned to get into our hammock. Some of us have more experience than others, I guess. <laughs> Yes, we're in.
On the last day of our trip, we were greeted with blue skies and warm temps. Even with nicer weather, the fish still weren't biting. But you don't know till you go, right? We let our gear dry in the morning sun before packing it all away one last time and making the trek back to the ferry terminal. Our trip was almost over. That hill we had so much fun coming in on. Now I have to go back up. Oh God. Goodbye, Shingle Bay. Wet times. We didn't have much time before our ferry left, but it was hard not to stop and check out the scenery. There was something to see around every corner. Twelve percent grade. Oh, Jesus. Almost at the ferry terminal. I think we're gonna make it just fine. And just like that, it was time to make the voyage home. Four days, three islands, seven boats, and hundreds of gummy worms. We wish we had more time to explore each island, but on a trip like this, time just seems to fly by. I guess we'll just have to come back again someday. But for now, we'll rest our stiff legs and calloused behinds and dream of warm days in the hammock ahead. There she be. And all the windows are still there. Wow. To wow. do the final way. Scale in. 45. 20.6. Ooh. 46.8. 24.2. 44.4. Oh. Oh, easy. 22.4. 31.4. Oh Jeez. my god, dude. <laughs> There's no way, dude. What? Did I lose some stuff? 13. What? 13. Well, boys. We did it. Until the next gummy worm. Until the next bike pack. Arr, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for more great videos. And don't forget, get your loot at mahalomydude.com. Yarr!